Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the Elighten One, the Elighten One, a.k.a. God's Child, a.k.a. God's Child. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my page. Stay humble, everybody. Stay humble. Walmart t-shirts for four ninety nine. dollars get, you, get yours today. Stay humble. Okay, guys, it's not about the price. It's all about the message, okay? Gucci sent a negative message. Message. Shout out to everyone out there worldwide, to the East Coast, to the West Coast. I mean, people out there in Ireland, Ghana, New Jersey, Brooklyn, Manhattan, L.A., Compton, Tennessee, Texas, St. Louis, India, Pakistan, everyone out there worldwide who, who likes this channel. I appreciate you all. Peace and blessings to you and your families out there. I'm the enlightened one here in Chicago, Illinois, and the temperature's not too bad. The sun is shining, just a little cold. Let's get started, shall we? If I missed your city or your country, please comment below, because, you know, sometimes I have a lot going on. I got love for all y'all. All right, we're going to talk about the Valentine's Day Massacre. Midtown way. Okay, so I'm at work, and this young man, you know, his, the girl he liked flaked on him a week before Valentine's Day, which is tomorrow. So, uh, out of everyone on the, on the job, it was a guy to his left, guy to his right. But as I was walking past, he called me and he gave me the situation, the rundown. So... Him and his girlfriend that he liked, very beautiful woman, very pretty, and they had an argument. And so, uh, first thing I said, well, let me see the picture of this woman. He took out his cell phone. He, you know, touch screen. And I looked at this picture. See, by me, dating women, love women, and know women, I took one look at that woman picture. Then I looked at him. Then I looked at the picture. Then I looked at him. I said, okay, continue. So I already got my mind made up about this woman just on the, on just by appearance. So now, because I have experience with women, okay, the goods, the bads, the ups and downs, all that, every experience, the good, the bad, the ups and the downs, and the fuckery. So I have that much experience with women, and uh, so the argument was about the woman wanted to. Hang out with her girlfriends, a tattoo party. And it was a tattoo party. She wanted to get a new tattoo, which my co worker disagreed on her getting a tattoo of what she wants. It's her body, you know what I'm saying? But I just listened. So, to make a long story short, the bottom line is the woman on the picture that he liked didn't want him there. And I asked, well, how long do you know this lady? How long y'all been kicking it? How long y'all been smashing, dating, whatever? Well, we, we kicked it for a while, for a while. I said, mm -hmm. okay. So let me get this straight. She's getting a tattoo. Uh, excuse me. She's getting a tattoo done. And she don't want you there. And there's going to be other men there. Her girlfriend's going to be there. And tattoo art, and you know, because women, guys, um, if you are insecure, and if you are insecure, and a woman know you are a beta male and not secure, she won't respect you. You understand what I'm saying? So, bottom line is, she got, it's zero contact, zero contact, guys. So, now, what zero contact means, no, ghost, that's what I want to use, ghost. Now, Ghost means when you reach out to somebody, you get zero response. A one word or one hi, fine, hello, hi, is better than zero. See, when a person ghosts you, when you text somebody, hey, beautiful, how you doing? Or, hey, handsome, how you doing? You know, and then you got nothing for days. So what I try to explain to this young guy, I said, well, man, uh... That's not good if she ghosted. He said, what's ghosted? I said, well, young run dude, young brother, 
Ghosting is when a person give you zero response. And that's not good. That's not good. If you call, no response. You text, no response. So now the man want to go to the woman's job. I said, oh, no, don't do that. He said, why? I said, dude, if you guys had an argument and broke up, that's what he said. He broke up. If you broke up with a woman, okay, you cannot go to her job. One, because you all in your feelings right now. You want answers. You want to go, you want to question her on her job. So she's not responding to your texts, your calls, or anything, whatever. She goes to you. You want to go to her job to talk to her because that's where you can get her at. One, I totally against it because I'm going to tell you guys out there why it's not a good idea to go to a woman's job. One, you all in your feelings. That's one. And when you're in your feelings, she's in her feelings. She could have you arrested, restraining order, or you can cost this woman her job because if she's done with you and she see your face, she can jap out now both of y'all in the situation. So I tell guys out there, don't go to a woman's job. You have to be productive and be busy. This young guy's not busy. He's not productive. So he got this pretty girl, and most men are not used to a dime. And what is a dime? According to the Hood Urban Dictionary, a dime is a pretty woman that's bad. 36, 24, 38, bad, dime. There are dimes in the projects. There are dimes in the ghettos. There are dimes uptown and downtown. Worldwide dimes. Okay? There are women in the ghetto look better than Janet Jackson. There are women in the ghetto got bigger booties than J-Lo. Message. So now... What this got to do with Valentine's Day? Well, think about it. He argued with this woman last week was around Thursday or Friday. And what's tomorrow? Valentine's Day. Oh, the Valentine's Day massacre. So I'm going to tell you guys how to handle that, right? So you have to understand, this woman, in my opinion, has made plans already. And this dude, all his feelings, oh, baby, no, 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 no. I ain't got no tissue, but. <laughs> and she said, what a pussy. Women don't respect a pussy, man. So what I tried to tell is bad. No, let me get back to the point. A Valentine's Day massacre is you get ghost. You ghost. You done on Valentine's Day. That woman, in my opinion, is going to be with somebody else. Which is tomorrow. Today the 13th. So, and then he got these tickets to take her to a concert. I said, brother, there are plenty of women out there for you. The Valentine's Day Massacre is when you with a woman, you date a woman, and she ghosts you. Ghost. That's a massacre. Kill shot. Da, 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 da. Not I got to go to work. Not that I, whatever excuse. You understand what I'm saying? That's a massacre. So let me tell you how to prevent from being butthurt. Okay? I'm going to give it to you in the real. Number one, you have to let a woman know you don't care. That's fine. That's okay. See, the brother mistake was he became feminine. Towards the woman. You can't, be, both of y'all can't be feminine because that will make her a lesbian. You have to be a dominant, macho, intellectual man. You have to be a stud. If you're a horse, you got to be a stud, not a pony. See, he was being a pony and she was more like the stud. You understand what I'm saying? So when you're a stud, women won't get stud. See, he was being a pony. Okay? So you have to. To let a woman know you can be with her or without her. It don't make you no difference. That's what most men need to And stop being so insecure what she's doing. See, when you're insecure of what she's doing, 
You are so wrapped up in trying to find out, trying to see what she's doing. You're not even being productive. And now you are being, you are demasculating yourself. You are hurting yourself. Let a woman do what she do. And do what you do. I don't care if you drive Uber. I don't care if you do security. I don't give a damn you work for the stock market exchange. I don't care if you work for corporate America. Do what you do. And do what you love. And, and, and be productive, then women will respect you. A woman don't respect a man that's overpaging, uh, overpaged, I'm so stuck in the 90s, I'm sorry, overcalling, overtaxing, following social media. No, let that woman do what she do and do what you do. I highly recommend this brother to do the zero, nine, I mean, I'm sorry, the 90 day no contact. 90 day no contact rule. Look on YouTube channels or 90 day no contact rule. Okay? Whether she call within the 90 day period or not, you're going to be okay. See, within the 90 day no contact rule, 90 day no contact rule is no matter how much she call you, no matter how much uh, she texts you, you do not respond. That is giving yourself self-respect. See, you lost your respect when you baby, baby, please, baby, baby, please, please, baby, 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 please, please. You want to go to the woman's job. You want to give her flowers and all that shit. No, nah, no, nah, brother, no, nah, brother. The woman don't want your flowers. She wants you to be a man. She wants you to be that stud. And when I say that stud, you got to let the hammer down like my daddy said. Let the hammer down. You got to give it to a woman. Because a woman wants a man. If she cooking a meal for you or whatever, you got to drop them drawers and... You understand what I'm saying? While she cleaning up, she cleaning the sofa, you bend her over. And when she, she, when she says she's going out, have a good time. Play your PS4. Watch the game. Hang out with the boys. But whatever, do not be needy. This is the enlightened one, a.k.a. God Child. Do me a favor, guys. Hit that subscribe button. So tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So all you guys out there, there are most guys going to be ghosts, but that's okay. That's okay. Because why? You got other shit to do. You are productive. And if you're not, find something to do besides tracking down this woman or tracking down this man whatever whatever floats your boat or whatever you do what you do but find do do you and let them do them and remember there are plenty of fishes in the sea this is the enlightened one aka god's child peace and blessings have a good day hit that subscribe button for me peace